Hey guys, this is Amy with Lady Hi-Fi. I'm just gonna review the Vimoda Crossfade M100s. Um, I've had these for probably going on, I would say, two months now. And I wanted to let you know um, they are amazing. Um, most people say that these are the king of headphones. Um, rightfully so. These are really nice headphones. Um, they're really super soft uh, right here. They have really, really nice padding. Um, and they fit really well on your ears. Um, they also uh, click, so they click this way. So if you want to push them in, hold on a second, let's take that out. And if you wanted to push them in, they go like that. They're super nice and super light and compact. This is the case that they came with right here. So as you can tell, um, it comes with a little clip here that you can hook on your backpack, your belt loop, um, wherever else that you like to store things. Um, this is a little, uh, it wraps around wires. Um, so what it does, it clamps down like that and it fits super snug and super nicely in here. And then what you could do is you could get this wire here, which is really nice as well. So this is made out of nylon and it's thicker than some other headphones that I have that are also made out of nylon, but these sound really, I mean, these feel really nice. They actually feel more sturdier than others that I've seen. Um, this is the one that goes into the headset. Um, I'll get back to the packing of it in a second. Um, and as you can tell here, you've got one on each ear, right? So if you pull this down, right, you can definitely put this, it doesn't matter. There is no right, or oh, there is a right. There's a right on this side and then a left, you can tell in here, right? And then left in here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just pull this one down. So you see it in here, left, there's an L, and then a right, right there. Anyways, um, so you can definitely put this in either side. So I put it in here depending on where I need to plug this in, which is off the, also pretty nifty um, that it's shaped like this because I tend to, you know, take wires away or I tend to break the wire um, thinking that I'm pulling the wire away from the jack. So this is really nice too. So it's really easy to grip. Um, anyways, so I can, if, if my jack is on this side of the, on my right side of the computer and that's how I want it to be, then what I do is I just hook it into the right side. But if I'm going to be using, I don't know, something else or depending on what I'm doing, then I hook it into the left side. Um, and it's super easy. So the wire is pretty cool. Um, this one has a, a mic and volume button here. Um, so they're nice. So let's get back to the packing. So what I do is I do it that way. I snap it and then I put it in here just like that. And then I grab this and then I just kind of roll it around. Not too, but not too tightly. I like to take care of my stuff. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then this little thing that is in there, it's just like a Velcro piece. So. You could definitely wrap this around just like this. If I could get it to go through, it's just for example. I'll, normally I pack it better than this. Um, and just kind of do that, you know, and then grab it. And then what I do is I stuff it in here into the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not, but into the bottom down here, and then I shut it, grab it, super sweet, look at that, and this, this like case is like way smaller than some other cases that I've seen, um, so this is super nice, it's really sturdy, I mean I'm squeezing this and I can hardly ever get any kind of dent in it or like only here because it's hollow here. But anyways, um, this, it's really sturdy. Like seriously, like it's nice. So it's got the emblem on here, the Moda. So it's really cool. The other things it came with was 
Well, I think I got these. Um, I wanted some gun metals. I haven't taken the plastic off. So uh, maybe I'll have a, a video on how to change these later. But these you can change the outside of the headphone. So let's take this back out. So I can show you. So what you could do is, see these here? You could take these little screws out with this little tool here. I don't know if you can see the tool or not. It's like a Allen wrench, a small little one. It's very small little screws here just in case you lose the others. And what you do is you take these little screws out and then you put these and replace these. I know they have like orange, they have like lime green, they have pretty cool colors um, and then switch those out. So that again is a pretty cool to be able to um, personalize the headphones. And these tend to fit really well on my ears. Um, I have a small head, I think, and this fits really nicely. Um, but it does get bigger and longer. See that right there? See that right there? I mean, for huge, huge heads, look at that. Like, you see that? I mean, they're pretty big. That's at full max and everything. Um, so, but the thing was, I think I have a rather weird shaped head. I have like somewhat of a, a cone here. So like when it hits here, it's really hard on my head. So I don't know if my head kind of goes like this in like a triangle or something. Um, but that's the only thing that it hurts. It hurts here, but there's padding, but for some reason it hurts my noggin. Um, so, but it's not a complaint, like not that big a deal. I usually just adjust a little bit or kind of move it forward or back, depending like forward or back. Um, so depending on what I'm doing, um, the other thing I was going to show you, um, is that it comes with this to be able to hook it up to like a, a bigger jack, um, for like a stereo unit, um, you know, a bigger, a bigger home unit. So that comes with it. And what happens is, is that you take the, the headphones. So like this one right here and you hook it into here. It snaps in and then you hook it into the stereo. So see, it gets bigger. So um, anyway, so it comes with that. Also, I have a boom mic to go with it. So what I do is I hook this up to my headphones right here, just like that. And I put them on, let me see, adjust it. Yeah, just like, just like that, right? Can you tell? Um, and then what I do, it has a clip here, see that? And then it has the microphone. Hold on. See that right there? It's got a little picture of a microphone there. So it mutes it and then it, it plays it again, mutes it and stuff like that. Then it's got the clip here to be able to clip it onto whatever, a shirt or something. And then it's got the volume here. So you can definitely adjust the volume up or down. See that? So then if you have a laptop, that you need this little doohickey for. So what happens is you put the bottom in, so this is connected, right? So this is connected to the headphone, the mic, right? And then after the mic, you connect it to this little thing here. This is the end of the wire. You connect it to this. And then there's a splitter here. Some laptops, they require this. So let me see if I can show you here. One of them is headphone. See that right there? Headphone. And the other one is microphone. So you need to put this one into the headphone jack and this one into the microphone jack. That way it can read your headphone and your boom mic right here. Right. And they sound pretty cool. Like I use these all the time except during this video because I need to show you um, what it looks like. So that's one other cool thing. And then here's another... This one is actually longer, this cord here. This is pretty cool here. This feels really nice and sturdy. Do you see that right there? Really nice and sturdy. Um, and then this one goes into your regular aux, right? But this one, let me show you here. This one right here, you can hook up the other wire to right there and you can share. So you can have, let me unwind this here. So this goes in to your headphone. This one goes in to your, I don't know, uh, computer, laptop, or 
maybe like a Fio or something. This is what I use. It sounds amazing. I'm going to get to this to the sound in a minute. So if you wanted to share this, what you do is you'd hook it up in here, right? You'd hit, get this, you'd hook it up here. Then another person right here would be able to hook up another headset, right? So you could hook up this to, I don't know, another, I don't have another wire here, but um, so that way you could share whatever music you're listening to with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, your kids, whatever. Um, and you're listening to something on the bus or, I don't know, traveling on the airplane or whatnot. So it's really, really cool. So you can share your music. So that's that wire. And I think that's all the accessories that it came with um, other than that pretty cool box right here. And let me get that for you. So here's this box. Super cool. Um, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So here's this. So here's this right here. You see that? You see all that information there? So I'm trying to have it zoom in properly. So steel flex, ergonomic memory foam, 50 millimeter dual drivers, um, dual inputs, so left and right, remember I was telling you, uh, custom metal shields that you can definitely customize. They even do engraving, so it's pretty cool. Um, and then they have the reinforced cable that I was telling you about that's better than some other headphones that I have. They also have the click fold hinge, which is what I was telling you earlier that you can definitely um, hear everything, every click, you hear that? You hear that? So then you can click it in this way, you hear that? So it's pretty nice, um, pretty cool feature. So let me pull it down a little bit. You hear that? So it's all clicking. So um, then they have the V angle. It's all steel here, so it's all really nice. All of this is really nice. It's all all well made, like super duper well made. Um, what else? Um, this one I got in matte black. Um, this uh, the case is called an exoskeleton case, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah, so that's uh, that's the whole thing. Um, this is pretty cool here. See that on the inside? And then this, you just put everything in there, and then it's got a clip on here. You see that, this kind of like button thing here? So then, bam. Then you can carry it around. Got nice like leather right there. Look at that. So pretty cool. So this can even be used as a carrying case as well. So uh anyways what i'll do is guys if you have any questions uh, oh yeah i need to go over the sound oh my god so i listen into it usually either if i'm by myself and i don't feel like carrying my fire around um then um you know it sounds really nice and clear it doesn't have like too much heavy bass at all um I can hear everything, and I've heard stuff like I that I never thought I heard in songs. And I have some really nice speakers at home. You see these speakers right there? I got some clip speakers. Um, I've got the powered. Um, I think they're the RPM 15s. I think I don't know something like that. Anyways, um, and they sound super nice, right? And I always like God, you know, like I haven't been able to hear that piece of sound in that music, right, with those speakers. But whenever I hooked you know, these Vimotas into my DAC. Oh my God. Like I could hear things that I never heard before or never knew existed. So, um, now let me see the settings that I last used with the Vimotas. Let me see if I can, if I can zoom in. So I have it at 12 gain right here. Let me see. The bass was normal. The treble was normal. So see, I didn't do anything else. So all I did was just turn it up to 12 and that gave me like so much more. I'm sure if I adjusted the bass and the treble, like I could get it just right. And I usually end up doing it, I usually end up doing the settings, um, changing it per song because I'm listening to them in my headphones. Um, so I usually just adjust. So if I'm listening to country, then I, I, I change it, right? But if I'm listening to um, like EDM or like some pop music or like some dubstep, like something that I want more bass to it, you know, more bass heavy because I mean, that's what pop and like uh you know edm and dubstep have is a lot of bass so you do want to like really hear it then definitely i turn up the gain i turn up the bass maybe a little bit more treble just to hear it 
really clear and everything. But I mean, I've got no problem with these at all. Like these are absolutely amazing. So if you're thinking about getting some headphones, definitely, definitely, um, these are ones and they're not like three, four or $500 headphones. So again, you know, they're very affordable. Um, if you get them used, you know, they're still affordable. They're still nice. Um, so yeah, definitely. I would definitely consider these. They're clear. They're not bass heavy unless you want them to be. So you can definitely turn it up. Um, what else? So yeah, um, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Um, I could definitely, you know, shoot you a comment or something. But what I'm going to do is at the bottom of this video, I'm going to put in a couple of links. So I'm going to find you the cheapest um, Vimoto crossfades, whether it's on eBay or Amazon or any other place on the internet, the manufacturer, whatever it is, and click on those links because you will be able to get the cheapest ones that I could find. Now, as time goes on, and um, I may forget every once in a while to up update the link if they're, you know, if they're, it's no longer available, but I'm gonna do my best to always keep up to date on the links. So definitely click on them, check them out, see if you wanna get these, but they're awesome. Like, you're not gonna go, you're, there's no way you're going to go bad with them at all. So, um, yeah, for sure. Like these are awesome. So if you're looking for, you know, some pretty good headphones for like pop or, I mean, I'm looking at more bass heavy stuff because I love the dubstep music and the pop music. So definitely these would be ones that I would definitely keep and never get rid of ever. So anyways, well, thanks for watching. And again, check out my site, lady-hi-fi.com, lady-hi-fi.com. Make sure you put that hi-fi in there. I mean, that hyphen in there. Um, so you can definitely go to the right site. Um, leave me a comment. And like I said, I'm definitely going to update the links at the bottom to see if you can find some cheap ones or I can find you the cheapest ones out there. Um, but thanks again. Thanks for watching.